Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. Uh, thanks for being here with me. Today we are reviewing Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So chuck me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this film. Have you heard of it? Uh, have you seen it already? Have you, are you one of those lucky people that have managed to catch a viewing of this at the cinema? If not, don't worry. It comes out tomorrow, Friday. Let's get into it. Chicago 1927, a recording session. Tensions rise between Ma Rainey, her ambitious horn player, and the white management determined to control the uncontrollable Mother of the Blues, based on the Pulitzer Prize winner Augustine Wilson's play. So our main two uh, protagonists here is Chadwick Boseman, which I believe it's his last performance before he, he sadly passed away, and we've got Vi Viola Davis as Ma Rainey herself. We also have, let me get the name right, uh, Coleman Domingo, um, Coleman Domingo is the leader of the band and then we have Chadwick who plays this horn player who believes he has m more talent. He's very cheeky. He, he He's the guy that thinks he knows better, that his music is better, that he's got so much talent and he wants to prove to the world that he is better. He's got... Um, He's got something to prove and he's got a dark history. Uh, it feels like a play throughout. Um, I didn't actually know it was based on a play. So when I was watching this, my wife walked in and she watched it for a couple of minutes. And we were like, this is a play, right? Um, so it definitely feels like a play. The way the dialogue is delivered. Um, I do feel like this won't be everybody's cup of tea. Um, I'm not a person that, that actually seeks out a movie about jazz. That would never be something I would really go and find. I like jazz uh, as much as the next person, but it's not music that I always uh, you know, choose to stick on. It's not my first genre that I go to. However, the performances alone are definitely worth you watching this movie for. Uh, I, I don't know if it's Chadwick's best performance, but it may be. I think his performance in this is excellent, very flamboyant, very naughty, very um, in-depth, very emotional. He has an amazing range of uh, emotions he needs to play and the characteristics that he needs to play with this character um, has gone through so much. So for the most part, you see him uh, messing about with the ladies. You see him uh, messing about with the jazz team. You see the talent he has, his writing music. And then you see his character change when he has to tell a story about his past. And for me, that is when the film took a change. Uh, so for the first 30 minutes, I'm watching this film thinking the cinematography is great. The acting is amazing, but I'm not sure this is a film for me. And I think a lot of people won't enjoy this. That was my thought process when watching this. Then there was that moment when there was a story from Chadwick and I thought this performance is amazing. I'm now invested in the characters. And from there on, I was invested what was with what was happening. So obviously got a story to tell. It's obviously um, very relevant for today. You know, we're talking about color again, about how um, African American people have been treated. Um, and it's still, that's very, very real for now. Um, and so I think this will touch a lot of people, it might make people still angry and bring up things from the past that maybe they don't want to think about or maybe is it good to think about. It'll have all those things going on in your mind, uh, which I think is good, but it doesn't lose track from its jazz. Um, it's in the 1927, so you can understand what that means. Um, and then you see the talent. There are moments in this that really stood out to me as well. When you see them messing about with their instruments, all believable, by the way, um, and you see them starting to put together a piece. They're just kind of, you know, just kind of jamming, like if they're on the bass, they're just jamming and then a piece will come out of that or there will be a, a monologue, a dumping of exposition that wouldn't work if it's a normal film, but because it's this type of play film, it really works. Uh, and that's like the exception to the rule. Um, and so they'll just start dumping exposition in amongst the music and create a wonderful piece and that's kind of transports you. So for the most part in this film, in this film, although you are there with the characters, the characters transport you to another place where you get to experience or think about or imagine what has happened to them, the story they are telling or the experience that they're telling. Ma Rainey's character is excellent. Viola Davis is brilliant. Um, I often forgot that it was Viola Davis. So that gives you an idea of like, you have to you have to squint. Wait, is that really Viola? So from the, the makeup and the costuming to her performance, she really takes on this persona of Ma Rainey. And uh, she's larger than life. She knows what she wants. She knows that she has to fight for what she wants. And she will 
say what is what. There's very, very strong character. And so you get this horn player and her bashing heads because they both have this will for life, will for jazz to take it further. And But they have different, different viewpoints. So that makes the interesting clash there um, worth watching. I, like I said again, performances, cinematography, all fantastic. It won't be for everybody, but if you want to see an incredible performance, uh, if you want to see Chad Brick in his last... Uh, performance uh, do definitely stick this on like I said I'm not a huge fan of jazz I like it uh, but it's not one that I would have gone out to watch um, if I wasn't reviewing it but now that I've seen it I'm like ah okay wow that was that was pretty good I'm gonna give this a B chat to me in the comments below what is your favorite film like this of this genre I'd be interested to know your thoughts thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on Tuesday <laughs>